So we have a brand new tire model for the Craftsman Truck Series here in iRacing. And I wanted to test it out with an AI race because I also hope they've improved AI here with this season three build because I still never have had satisfying um, over racing AI in iRacing. Either the tire fall off is too much and it's way easy to pass them at the end or they just kind of go in a straight line and don't attack too aggressively. So I'm going to be testing that and filling out this new tire model. I will say right now I am loving how slippery it is. You really have to control the car, wheel it. It's like a little bit lighter feeling Arca car. I really like sliding this thing around. It's really fun. But enough of me talking. Let's dive into this 15 lap race here at Michigan. As we're coming up to the green, here we go. Might not be talking too much because you actually have to concentrate. I just tried driving with other cars around and my gosh, the side drafting really does affect your car. So you got to concentrate. If you don't want to spin out, green flag is a go. Not a great start. Wasn't really paying attention, but that's okay. Now let's focus up and not lose it. You gotta play it safe these first couple laps till the tires warm up. Oh, feeling a little loose. Even the AI feeling a little loose. There is not a lot of grip when the tires are cold right now. Gotta just take it easy. Oh my gosh, it's really loose on exit right there. Feels like driving the Xfinity car at Vegas. Can we make a move on the 9 or is that a little too aggressive? He keeps high for us. Oh! It is, you just have to really concentrate on sliding this thing. So far, the AI racing good. The 9 car being respectful, giving us space, but also making moves. Outside. Outside, clear. We're gaining on the 9 now. Can we go under him here? Car outside. And the 2 is Still there. running away with it. Still there. Hold your line. Okay, you're in second. He's still there, it looks like. And we're clear. So AI keeping it clean on us. If we keep it clean with the AI, they'll keep it clean on us. I love the slidiness. It's really fun catching the car and everything. Let's see if we can catch first place. Oh, I gotta really be careful on exit. By lap 10 when there's wear, I'm really curious how this is going to feel. But we don't have wear right now, so we're going to keep pushing it. This is half length of what the fixed race is going to be. So we should experience some solid tire wear. We're gaining on the one car here. I'm surprised that Max 90 AI I'm able to really catch him. It's a 90 AI they've leveled as pros. After that, it's Alien. I was like, I can't race aliens. And yet, here we are. They're a little slow. We're going to try going high. Don't quite have the speed carrying through, but we might have good speed out of the corner here. Yep. We're side by side. And we are good. Oh, so we are, what, five laps in and it's still really slidey. There is way more grip now that the tires are warm. But we have passed the AI. Maybe the AI aren't trained with this new handling model yet. I don't know. Or the tire fall off could be huge for us. We'll see. We will see.
Well, we've kind of dusted the AI. You're pulling away from the car. Did not expect that. Um. That car is a lap down. So they're still not great, because I can run this same difficulty at other oval tracks and it's nice and close around mid-pack. It's just so inconsistent. Clear inside. I remember reading somewhere on the forums or on Reddit. You should be able to set the AI based on a certain I rating. Outside. I think that could be really, really good. But for now we have to settle with this. I will say, as the tire wears, you know, before it'd start to understeer a lot, but now it kind of feels a little more intuitive, it just becomes a little more loose. I'm really liking it. I think if I got the time, I may try to run some uh, official truck races, might even try a week 13 when I almost got in a wreck there. Yeah, might try to run some official races, because now I uh, I anticipate we all, not we all, but a lot of us don't run the truck series because it's just drafting, super speedway style racing the whole time with a lot of carnage. But with this, I think it'll be a lot more like Xfinity and Arca. It's going to spread out. Hopefully not a lot of cautions are happening. But I think it'll actually be a lot more enjoyable You'll be able to make some passes, not relying too heavily on the draft, but on if you saved your tires or not, if you are able to slide this car well. I th I'm really excited to give this a shot. I think it could be very, very fun. Not a lot of people, except for the oval fans, the hardcore oval fans, are talking about this tire model update on the trucks, but I am. I'm really excited for it. I think this could be a lot of fun. I know on DJ EJ's video about this, the comments were surprisingly not as pumped as I am. I really feel like this could be the game changer for racing, but we'll have to see once we get some more online races in. I'm gonna really try to sneak in a fixed race tomorrow and see what happens. But that is the brand new trucks here at iRacing hopefully I can bring some more iRacing videos with some better time management that's what it is thank you guys so much for watching hope you have a great day